Hey beautiful people, this is Tatiana Tarot hitting you up with another tarot energy forecast this time from my grandma's crib of state. She's away. She's doing errands. I'm sure she's going to rock herself into the video when she comes back. So just bear in mind that we're going to have visitors probably today. And there's also um, construction outside. So just rock with me and I will get us through this week. This week is going to be very, very interesting. It is already Tuesday the 30th of August and we're doing this video until the 4th of September. We're already in Virgo season. And we're going to start eclipse season very shortly. And yesterday, I believe, was the onset of Mercury in retrograde. So we're going to be expecting a lot of things that are very unexpected, I would assume. Popping out of the woodworks to say hi for a final time. Um, so those that are new to the video, um, I... Hello. I pull out cards... One card for every two days of the week. Um, just channeling spirit. The intention is not to tell nobody's future. Um, you're all in charge of that. You can change it at the blink of an eye. You can change it with shifting your belief systems and shifting your expectations. My intention is to do my job as a vessel and a channel for spirit. Um, whatever way spirit, whichever way spirit wants to communicate through me for you, this is just a labor of love. So I really enjoy putting out these videos and seeing whether or not it really resonates with you. But again, um, the message does not necessarily have to hit home. Sometimes it just gives us a reminder of things that we need to be aware of. Sometimes, um, you know, it's just good to have that information and a little bit later down in the road, even a month from now, that information from this particular video or prior videos may be hitting you then. Um, I believe there's a divine reason in all things that we do and so it doesn't necessarily mean the case that it is going to affect you on an immediate basis but if you are watching there is a reason why you're watching and I'm most certain that there is a message here for you in some way um, but that being said, moving forward, I channel messages from spirit for the highest good of all involved. I like to put that out there that I don't um, mean ill. I come from a pure place. And so I channel spirit using tarot cards, using oracle cards. Um, I like to flip it up each week, pulling out a card for every two days of the week and then one card for the last three days, which is the weekend. And then I sum up the whole week with an oracle card, and it varies week to week. Um, I've been very spoiled in using a, the Ghetto Tarot by Elise Smeets. I'm still using this. The imagery is amazing, phenomenal, and I've been really... This is the only deck I actually use for the, the videos. I don't even use it for regular readings. I whip it out for the videos, and I use them for the tarot scopes. So they've been really sacred for those particular practices. But this week, I'm also going to be rocking with this new deck that I got yesterday, which is really interesting. I don't normally gravitate to Doreen Virtue's work. Um, well, I'll do respect. She's an amazing woman. But I'm, I'm, I normally don't work with, like, angels. I, I do, you know... Um, I gravitate to to Ifa or Voodoo and, and all that sort of spiritual denominations. Um, but this one's Angel Therapy. And I've been seeing people rocking it online, particularly um, Oracle readers online. And I'm like, you know what? It'd be fun to, to try using Doreen Virtue again. I kind of gave away all my decks to my friends. <laughs> so I like this deck. It's been calling me at the store I work in and... Um, I wanted to try it out this week and see if it resonates with you guys. Also, I'm going to be whipping out the Zen Osho deck. Um, Osho is a spiritualist. He's a spiritual teacher who's passed, but um, he's pretty profound and has written many, many books on a variety of topics, which you guys should check out um, if you're inclined to read about that. But let's see. I know I missed Monday. I've been traveling a lot, but um, Tuesday still stands as Monday and Tuesday. So let us tune in, center yourselves, you're more than welcome to whip out a pen and paper, um, if you want to record the video, if you want to jot anything down that comes up into mind during the session, that is advised, because you never know what information is going to pop up for you, what's going to resonate with you, okay, so for the highest good of all involved, 
I said, Papa Legba, please open the gates for us. Papa Legba, please let us go through. Papa Legba, please open the gates for us. Papa Legba, please let us go through. You children are waiting at the gate. Please allow us to access the low. And I would thank you when I return. Thank you in advance for all your guidance and your protection. I ask that we receive clarity, insight, and information on how we may best live our lives and approach our journeys up ahead. Ashe. So, channeling the ancestors. You know what? That card already fell through. So, I'm going to use this card for Monday and Tuesday of this week. Yanni, I keep on looking at my book because I never know what freaking date we're in. The 29th and the 30th of this week. And, oh, I pulled this out earlier today in today's tarot meditation. It is the Knights of Machetes. Machetes. Um, the Knight of Machetes also equates to the Knight of Swords in the Rider Waite deck. Um, this card is a sense of urgency. Let me just hold it up because y'all be like, hold up the card a little bit longer. Um, this is about urgency, okay? This is about a sense of feeling overwhelmed, but this is exciting. This is not like, oh my God, I'm in too deep. And for some of us, it could be I'm in too deep. If you don't know how to structure and prioritize and take deep breaths and move slowly. This is a consistent flow. It's very progressive, but it's also like, let's get things done. We got to get things done. We don't have time to procrastinate or lollygag. Um or second guess our actions. The Knight of Machetes is ruled by the element of air, hence swords, hence thoughts, the intangible, air, things that are invisible, that flow. Spirit realm is very, very active with us this week. Um, there are a lot of messages coming through. This is the sense of urgency that we may be feeling, whether or not there are actual synchronicities and coincidences that we see around us, obvious signs, songs, books, information that is coming our way, um, it's not without a, a I mean, it is, it's for a particular reason. So it's not information to be wasted. Okay. Um, even if you cannot take action on it on an immediate basis, one of my favorite practices is to bring like a little moleskin or a little, uh, book or journal just so that I can write down whatever it is that I'm receiving in that moment. And I'm not going to forget it. And I can rely on myself a little bit later on in the future to reference that and see what I needed to get from that information or how to implement that into my life a little bit later on. The Night of Machetes is about messages, rights, and information. A little redundant, getting that over with. But also, it's a sense of... Um, aggression um, moving forward maybe there's a lot of, a lot of information that people need to tell you right now um, things that you need to know um, maybe you're waiting to hear back from a particular person or um, you want to take initiative on a project this is the momentum that's going to allow you to make massive breakthroughs all right it can be a little intense it can kind of come out of the woodwork surprising us like whoa I did not expect that to happen I did not expect um, so-and-so to approach me or oh I'm, I'm you know now I have to have this conversation um, when we're dealing with swords it does uh, pertain to communication um, a sense of expression uh, taking what doesn't exist and and kind of seeing where it leads us so that air elements that spirit component um, Taking initiative on things. The Knight of Machetes is really um, having to move forward and 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 um, being your own authoritative leader and say, you know, I'm not going to wait for X, Y, and C to make these moves for me. I'm not going to wait for an answer. I'm going to do it myself. I'm, I'm not going to take no firm an answer. I'm going to um, get what's mine, essentially. So that is the energy for this card for Monday and Tuesday, which is a great energy to start off for this week. Um, just to, in, in any week, you want to start off with that kind of um, can-do, get-it-done energy and momentum. Uh, the Knight of Machetes, there's almost a certainty in his brain that he can't fail. And so what is it in your life that you need to approach that maybe you're avoiding that you feel some sort of inherent fear about? Uh, maybe it's about breaking through your comfort zone, breaking, um, <sighs> talking to that person, needing to initiate a conversation that you've been holding back on, making 
uh, a, a clear path for yourself without any distractions, clearing out the cobwebs, um, also finding sacred space um, within your domain to talk to spirit. This definitely means that there's um, something important that needs to be communicated to you. This is a card about closure. This is a card about, you know, expression and, and, and really going forward with that expression and being very dynamic and, and, and living with conviction and knowing that you have a right to say what you feel. You have a right to express what you want to express and you can't necessarily have it. The, the, the energy of this card is like, I can't lie dormant inside of myself anymore. My spirit is like beckoning me to just break out of my skin and let the world know what I truly feel. So it's almost like the movement of Alicia Keys where she's like, I don't want to be, I don't want to be fake anymore. I don't want to have to wear makeup. I don't want to have to conceal my true feelings and emotions. I don't want to lie about my progress. I don't want to, uh, you know, hide my sensitivity. She's completely um, uncovering um, the mask. And so the night of machetes is how can we take initiative on this? How can we how can we truly reveal um, what's beneath all the layers and 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 what is in our way that's preventing us from doing that? It's almost a this card is almost like telling us to dive in to attack it head on, and it doesn't have to be aggressive like that. But I mean aggressive in the sense of urgency. Like this needs to be addressed now. This is not something that you marinate on and you sleep. You sleep on in regards to, oh my God, what should what approach should I take? Um, what angle should I go about doing this? Um, you know, should I talk to this person? Should I not talk to this person? It's like you already know what you need to do. There's a certainty inside of you. Now you need to go out there and do it. And these particular days, Monday and Tuesday, Maybe you finally get that aha moment that you need this sense of clarity and closure in order for you to break on through to the other side in September, um, feeling a little bit more liberated, feeling a little bit more in control and, and um, in, 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 you know, honoring your spirit and living with integrity because you did take action on something that you knew you had to take action on. So this is really great. Um, let's see what the backup message for Monday and Tuesday is subconsciously what we are not aware of from the Zen Osho deck. We are the world. So this is a very interesting card. It talks about how one's actions affect others. So um, cause and effect, how we're all interconnected via energy, vibration, frequency. It wants us to pay attention to whatever frequencies and, and, and energy we project at a time and um, how that changes from the things that we do in our lives to the people that we interact in. Um, being very conscious of our internal natures and our internal realms, which is another universe in and of itself. And also being very conscious of our external um, actions and how we act around other people and how other people make us feel and how we choose um, yeah, you know, what thoughts and belief systems and emotions we choose to exude in those times, how it affects us. There's something here that we definitely need to be proactive about, especially if we're getting the night of machetes. Either it's pushing out a project that kind of deals with the universal collective and how we kind of view ourselves in this collective scheme of things. Um, what's our ma massive purpose within the world? What is our major role and, and what is the... the what what is our minor role within our families and our tiny communities? Like how do we how do we affect people on a on a micro and macro scale? Um, we are the world is really bringing into focus um, what roles and what gifts you have to contribute to the collective and how that plays a role in your life on a day to day basis. Um, it's really interesting because I also feel as if this card can be bringing in very important people into your life, um, be it from the past or be it people you have yet to connect with. Um, it definitely gives me a sense of um, networking and networking with others 
um, for a very similar goal or a similar purpose. Um, there is a gift and there's a skill that you can lend to others and vice versa to help everybody out at the end of the day to help everyone climb that ladder. And so subconsciously, there are bigger things at hand that you may not be comprehending. There's definitely a sense of not, I don't want to say helplessness, but it's a very like laissez-faire. You can't really meddle in what the universe is doing. It's kind of out of your hands. So you need to be kind of an observer right now and observe how your energy is either contributing or and contributing and helping or how it's hindering process around you and for yourself. So think about it in two two ways you know how are you helping yourself on an individual scale how are you improving um, your spirit and how are you managing and taming your ego and also how are you helping others you know what's the greater picture are you taking care of your earth are you um, very you know conscious and savvy uh, of world events uh, how can you help out in these world events like what what is your grand vision that um, helps recreate a new world so to speak so this is a lot this is a lot of information coming through at once and let's see what we have for Wednesday and Thursday the 31st and the first of this month what is it that we most need to know that can best help us out okay two four six seven the seven of cups the seven of cups is a cup of illusion it's a cup of fantasy it's a cup of drinking too much that effect um getting high on your own supply this can be a good card I mean, it's not a bad card per se, but it's definitely a card that requires structure and requires discipline and it requires us to make decisions. So in the center of uh, the middle of our week, hump week, hump day, Wednesday and Thursday, the fact that we're getting the seven of comps is basically to realign our priorities, reassess uh, all that we've been giving our focus and our attention to. Is it bullshit or is it something that's really worth your time and your energy? Um, is it giving, is it feeding you? Is it feeding your soul? Is it soul food in some way? Can you see the long run and where your present actions are going to take you? Is it going to benefit you a little bit down in the road? Is it going to benefit others? And the seven of cups shows a man looking into the sky, uh, a variety of cups, symbolic of uh, your, your emotions, your sentiments, your feelings, okay? So he's like, okay, one cup, I'm thinking about death. I'm thinking about transitions. Another cup, I'm thinking about wealth. I'm thinking about this project that I want to implement. Oh, and this job that I have now. Oh, I'm thinking about my man. I'm thinking about my woman. I'm thinking about my family. I'm thinking about my hobbies. I'm thinking about what I, you know, oh my God, my fears in the future. So there's a lot of stimulation going on right now. And that's okay. But not everything needs to be thought of at the same time. Not everything needs to be residing in your brain. Okay, so this is about making a decision and taking action on what's most applicable to you right now. A, what, what is the most feasible thing for you right now to do? And um, what is your priority? The fact that the cups are in the sky means that they're not grounded. Maybe your thoughts are not grounded. They're not practical. Maybe you're not taking action on anything. You're just residing in fantasy and illusion. So what is real and what is not real? Um, what is it just mass expectation and kind of hope? And, um, you know, uh, hoping and, and living for the promise of things instead of seeing what's really practically, um, you know, realistic for you right now. And um, it almost requires that you plant your feet on the ground and start really doing the work. Um, we're in metro re Mercury retrograde, so it causes us to reassess our lives. Um, are, you know, is the path that we're on still working for us? Do we need to kind of edit here along the way? Should I still be rocking with this person in my life? Um, is our energy, our friendship helping um, 
are dynamic out? Is my work ethic on point? Um, do I still want to achieve this goal or do I need to fix and edit this goal? Maybe this talks about writing your ideas down in paper and then truly seeing how you've been step by step underneath those goals and those ideas, how you've been trying to tackle them on and how you've been trying to um, accomplish them a little by little each day. Um, it's not necessarily telling you that you can't have it on, you can't do it all, but you have no plan to get there from what we can see in this card. Or there's just so much going on that you need to drop some things and pick them up a little bit later when you have the time to, to accommodate those needs. Um, is, and, and also, and also our, our, our dreams, um, our visions may be very active. Maybe, you know, we might be hallucinating without taking any substances on a natural basis. Um, this can be a card where a lot of supernatural activity is being activated within you and around you. Um, and it's getting your attention, especially when we're getting the Knight of Machetes, which is like, ha, ah, I'm trying to get your focus right now. There's something important you need to know. Oh, this is my doggy thing. I'm a bobber. Um, the Seven of Cups can very much mean this, this elusive world that we can't grasp but that's still very much real but we don't know how to relate to because we're physical beings but our spirits and our higher selves can relate to it so there may be um information for you from your higher self most definitely not maybe there's always information for you but i would ask i would i would say channel your higher self Ask yourself, what is it that you most need to be focusing on and what's making you lose your grip? What's making you slip a little? Um, maybe you're being distracted by people around you. Maybe you're dabbling your hands in too many cookie jars. Um, also, you may be too emotionally inclined. A very emotional time. And you need some logic and, and, and some, some, some structure in order to balance things out. Um, you may also need to express this excess excess energy through artistic means. Um, you know, it can be a card of the actor where you play many roles and now you're losing grip on which role you truly are. That's interesting. Borderline schizophrenia. Always a sexy trait to have if you keep it under control. Know what you want to shape shift into Know when are the ideal times to shape shift into those things. And know who you fundamentally are as an individual, as a spirit being, as an identity. Know your identity. Um, live with integrity. Uh, don't just play a role because you want to impress somebody else. Or you are ultimately trying to get something. Uh, because you feel like your authentic self can't get it on the regular. Uh, this causes you to look at all the projections around you, um, you know, to really reflect and see if that person you don't like is giving you some hints about aspects of yourself that you don't resonate with, that you need to kind of, um, it needs to be brought up to the surface and made peace with before you move onward in September. Uh, September seems to be like a very hustling month. It is Virgo season, so we all know how to hustle a little bit too well. But, um, yeah, there's no jokes here. You may be losing grip on something, and it's asking you to kind of reevaluate what that is and, and, and be very honest with yourself and see what cup do you want to manifest first. Um, because nothing's going to get done if you're focusing on seven cups at the same time. Okay? Everything needs its own sacred energy and time to, to harvest. So... Subconsciously, what is it that we most need to know for Wednesday and Thursday? Ha! <laughs> Yo, I ain't never lie. Schizophrenia. We got the schizophrenia card. Um, schizophrenia is when you assume multiple identities and you're not grounded enough to kind of distinguish that you're assuming multiple identities and I really feel that schizophrenia can be an illness if you're not very savvy of your own spirit and if you're not grounded in your own spirit you're not disciplined 
to know your own needs and um, the way to kind of dictate your ego and the way to really truly listen to your own frequency and your energy. You start blending into others and assuming other uh, other molds and whatnot. Um, you may be exhibiting different behaviors. Um, you may be exhibiting things from past lives uh, or maybe it may be the case that situations don't make you um, react the same way anymore or it may be the case that you want to fake it till you make it in some aspect of your life in which if you're really trying to attain a goal and you don't really know how to get there or you can't necessarily uh, position yourself to to really be enthusiastic or positive and whatnot a lot of people say faking it to you making and acting it acting as if is really beneficial because um, your subconscious won't be able to distinguish between what is acting and what is not acting and so in this circumstance it is kind of like a schizophrenic behavior where you're shifting in personality and you're shifting in belief systems and every moment we have the capacity to shift into another frequency by will just by sheer intention you don't have to force anything it's like oh my god and I'm like this or I'm, I'm pretending I'm rich or whatever and um, so I would say play with that dynamic this week and um, if you need to exude a sense of bravery and courageousness, what are the people that you admire that exhibit this naturally? And how can you assume those characteristics? How can you act as if? Also, are you tripping balls? Are you wilding out for no reason? I mean, this is something that is not very easy to kind of track down, especially if you're excessively in your emotional body and you're not practical or grounded or have a basis of reality right now um, being able to distinguish what's real for you uh, and when you're outside of your um, uh, como se dice, if you're outside of your boundaries and just overreacting um, it can be challenging so this is just something to be aware of and it may not even be you it may be people around you that you're starting to realize are just losing their shit <laughs> like you're going crazy does that mean i'm going crazy how can i check myself meditation is great you have to perpetually check in on your spirit how do i feel right now how is this making me feel what is my spirit trying to tell me what is it that i most need why do I feel this way? Don't judge yourself, but just observe what is going on inside of that universe. Are things colliding? Are things coming apart? Are things, is something, is a planet forming? And you are just like anticipating the birth of this new planet. You can't quite tell what it is, but you know it's going to be doper than Earth. I don't know, but you need to perpetually check in. You, get, you, you have a world inside of you that you're neglecting on a daily basis. And the schizophrenia can just mean that all these personalities and these, these characteristics and the, 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 the multitude of spirits that reside in you, they need attention, they need focus, and they're communicating to you. But you don't listen to them. So they're all trying to reach you at once. And your brain is going to be like, oh my God, all these cups in the sky. Oh my God. You know, it's time to kind of come into the internal body and, and honor that. But also do things that really help you reside in the present moment. Be that yoga. Be that walking in nature. Be that um, painting. Listening to to meditational tunes on YouTube, reading a book and just focusing on reading, um, coloring those mandalas. Those manda My little sister has this mandala book that she colors in and it's really, really dope. It's like, you know, you're in another realm within two minutes of coloring. <laughs> um, it's a very, you know, meditative practice. It just has you focusing on one thing at a time. And when you're out of your brain, when you're out of your own way, that's when things that have been trying to get your attention start surfacing. And you're like, oh, oh, what's that? Oh, I'm not, um, insecure? Oh, oh, that person. Oh, I thought I got rid of you. Okay, that just means that there's some remnants here that I have to work through. 
Oh, was that hunger? Are you really hungry or are you just bored? Why am I bored? Mm, okay, so just observe and don't just try to control things. Just let it be. But for certain, something serious is popping up within you to, to, to kind of reveal the essence and the truth of things. And, and, and everything that's being communicated right now is to bring you back to wholeness. It's to bring you back to your center self. Um... And have you functioning as a full-fledged individual that's in control of your energy, that knows what it wants to shapeshift into, that knows what you want to manifest, that doesn't second-guess your spirit, that knows how to read between the lines, read and access multiple realms, and travel within those realms effortlessly. Um... Yes, you're kind of coming back to yourself and it's going to be quite an interesting week to see how you're going to do that and what's coming your way to help you um, have the experience that you most need at this time. Uh, now let's pull out a card for the weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Hi, Bobo. What is it that we most need to know? So I was talking about schizophrenia and that card came out. There's crazy. We're all crazy. But there's a healthy crazy. There's a manageable crazy. The healthy crazy. The creative crazy where you feel anything is possible. And so just going to make it happen without harming others. But then there's the crazy crazy. And then we want to make sure that you are not neglecting yourself so you don't get crazy crazy. There's work to be done here. Yeah, anyway, this is two, four, six. Six of cups. Blast from the past. Okay? Somebody wants to help you from the past. Let me just leave this here a little bit longer. I'm going to be freaking Vanna, brown, Vanna White. Um, Six of Cups. Reciprocity. Healing from the past. This is a blast from the past card, as most people associate it through definition. Uh, this is... Someone who is willing to offer you an extra cup of sentiment. They see you maybe struggling or they want to come to peace with things that have happened in the past that maybe you were unable to rectify. Um, this is a really, I get a lot of beautiful energy from this card. It may be you reuniting with people from a past life or just people that you really connect with. On a deep cellular level that you can't explain but you can feel which is more important than explaining logically because you know your spirits really into it and you're really excited and you know there's something more there to discover uh, this can be romantic it doesn't have to be romantic but it's definitely worth opening up to this person is showing you an aspect of yourself that you now need to heal or maybe giving you a very, very interesting key to a piece that you've needed to be unlocked and discover. Um, now, this individual, I feel, is, is a messenger of sorts. It is helping you, reminding you of who you are. And I think you are also doing the same for them. Or it may have been the case that you've done something for them in the past and now they're... Um, Gifting you back um, some gratitude and thanks for what for your presence in their life. It may be uh, you know a reunion, an encounter, bumping into people that you didn't expect to see. Somebody that you thought was out of your life is now coming back in. But this is you know whenever I say that y'all cringe, and it's not a cringe worthy topic. You have to be mindful that you're already setting yourself up for disaster if you think that it's going to be a negative situation. And I know some of these things are nerve-wracking for most um, or very questionable. You don't know how it's going to transpire. But uh, by already um, projecting that it's going to be a negative circumstance, that's what's going to come your way. So just because it's a blast from the past and it's from somebody that maybe you need closure from or... Somebody that needs closure from you doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be issues and tissues. Um, it can be a very, very beautiful, harmonious encounter where you realize y'all both grown in some way. 
um, and maybe you can track and scale back how you've grown from when you have connected in the past and maybe how that encounter has helped you to be who you are now and then close the chapter in that and establish a new friendship or close the chapter on that and just say bye. It's really beautiful for the end of September, the beginning of September. It is the eclipse. Mira eso. It's Friday the 2nd to the 4th. So it's we're in eclipse season. So this is like possibilities, endings and beginnings and encounterings and, um, you know, hopefully you're not voguing when you meet this person. But that would be dope. I think this is going to be very beautiful. It's something that you most definitely need. Maybe it's something that you've been resisting for some time. But listen... Pay attention to what this person has to say or express yourself, okay? Because we're coming through the beginning of this week with the Knight of Machete. So if this person does come into your life and they have nothing to tell you, but you know you got something to tell them, then you need to take that ball because the universe is not playing games. It's bringing you there for a reason. And this is the most beautiful encounter that can help you out and help your transformation, ultimately so what is it that we most need to know subconsciously that we don't know control you have no control over what's to come this weekend you have no control over what this eclipse is going to bring you and in fact this eclipse is teaching you how to lose control okay and the more present you are the more you stop abiding in, uh, uh, residing, excuse me, in the future, the more focused and centered you can be in, in knowing intuitively and instinctuously. I don't, don't think that's a word either. I like making shit up. But <laughs> knowing what it is you most need to do when you need to do it. And that is the lesson out of control is that you have no control and, um, Sometimes things happen that make you really super humble yourself and make you realize that you're kind of irrelevant in the world. But not irrelevant, but you very minute. And um, this card gives me a sense of things kind of dismantling, but fun things dismantling. And you kind of like flowing with what is. Just flow with what is for this weekend, okay? Don't make any assumptions. Don't assume that you're going to be a type of way because that's labeling you and that's putting you in a box and that's restricting the freedom of your spirit. Um, just go with, how you f go with how you feel in the moment. Express, dance, sing, act crazy. Be crazy, but keep your characteristics in check. Again, with the schizophrenia. Um... You know, the only thing you can't control is how you react to things. So that is what you should be focusing on. And the only thing you can react to is something that's happening in front of your face right now, like the video that you're seeing. So don't be thinking about 10 years in advance unless you're really planning a, br a blueprint or something like that. Um, or, or, you know, sometimes it is very important to future plan, but not like on the daily, not, you know, as a mental state of mind you need to be very whom grounded excuse me and so just be ready to to encounter things that maybe now is the time the universe knows that you're more than capable of handling whereas in the past you needed to get a lesson over and over again or you needed to figure out how it is that you're going to approach this moving forward now is the time to encounter it and um it is a test in some way. Uh, it is a test, but tests are fun. And listen, you don't know when you're going to get it. So just surrender and chill out and be like, I got this. Or your higher self knows what you need to do already. So you just need to kind of fall back and allow your more expanded sense of self to, to take over the wheel. Okay, so that was a really dope reading. Now, let me channel this Doreen Virtue Angel Therapy and see what is the message for this overall week. Bam. Doreen, angels, what is it that we most need to know for this week of the 30th to the 4th? What is our therapy? 
A, vale. Vacuum away fear. That's interesting. Call upon Archangel Michael and Raphael to lift fear-based energy from you, your surroundings, the situation, and everyone involved. So you can utilize this card for the whole week or bear in mind that these are entities that are here to serve and help you. I don't really dabble in with angels that much. I think they're cool. I wasn't predominantly raised with this um, belief system. But hey, if it works for you, rock with it. I'm definitely going to try it. And, and you know, if it's applicable to your needs, why not? Um, let me read. I think it's most definitely applicable to what is going on with all of us right now. But let me read the little description to help you out. Call upon Archangel Michael and Raphael to lift fear-based energy from you and your surroundings, this situation, and everyone else involved. You chose this card because you or someone close to you has absorbed some energies of fear. They could be self-generated from your own foreboding or may have come from being with fearful people. Whenever you feel tired or have been subjected to substance abuse, such as spending time in a pub or a bar, take the time to cleanse away residual energies. You can conduct this process anytime or anywhere, even when people are nearby. You can also conduct this vacuuming for other people in person or remotely. Just be sure to ask their verbal or psychic permission first. Action steps. To vacuum you yourself or another person away, uh, excuse me, or another person, just say, I clearly want to vacuum people away. Um, Archangels Michael and Raphael. I call upon you and your healing band of mercy angels to come now with your spiritual vacuum cleaner. Please deposit the vacuum holes through the crown chakra and suction away toxic fear base or entity energy. See and feel the vacuum holes completely cleaning the entire inside of the body, including organs, muscles, and bones from head to toe. Shutters and other physical reactions are a normal and positive sign that the process is working. Continue until the body feels quiet and then say... Thank you, Michael and Raphael, for this healing. Please now fill the body with your diamond bright white light to heal and protect. Ashe, thank you, Michael. Thank you, Raphael. Thank you, Archangel, angels, angels, all of you entities. Y'all are dope. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, Arisha. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Papa Lekla, for letting us pass. Thank you for watching. If you want to book a tarot session with me, go to my site myurbanillumination.com click on the work with me all my sessions are there send me an email of your availability i have sessions from the 6th of september and onward let me know what you're vibing on and i can most definitely work with you um i'm sending you all all the love please let me know how you resonate with this video if you like what you see subscribe and like and share with other people in your life that you feel that needs this video which are a lot um and yeah let me know your thoughts let me know how you're progressing let me know how your transformation is going maybe your story can help another person and that's the intention of these videos so i love you so much bendiciones thank you grandma's house thank you grandma for not interrupting our rock she's not here yet she'll be coming in shortly anyway peace until next week ciao